Combination Machine Maintenance This picture is only to represent what our trucks could look like without proper maintenance. Combination Machine Definition A sewer cleaning truck with high pressure water and vacuum systems. The practices explained in this program could apply to any piece of equipment. I will be using pictures of equipment I represent and pictures from other manufacturers to show common points of maintenance. My name is Kerry Alcott. This class has been broken into three separate videos to make viewing time shorter. Program Overview Video number one is about lubrication. Video number two is about daily maintenance. And video number three is about monthly maintenance, component adjustment, and air systems. Lubrication Proper lubrication Lubrication should be done by the use of a hand grease gun. This way you can feel the grease going into the fitting. You can feel how much pressure is being applied to push the grease in. You can feel if the fitting is plugged and not taking grease. You can measure how much grease you put into the fitting. You'll know that the fitting was greased properly. Pins and bushings need just enough grease to not seize. Put grease in until it just comes out. Bearings have seals to keep grease in and dirt and water out. Only two pumps of grease in a bearing. While greasing, watch out for Grease coming out from around the tip of the gun and the fitting. This means the grease is not going in. The tip of the gun is worn out or the fitting is plugged. You can only replace the tip or the fitting. You cannot fix them. After replacing the fitting and still will not take grease, then the passage is plugged up with old grease and will need to be taken apart to clean. This should not happen if greasing has been done in the scheduled time frame. Grease. Unless otherwise noted, grease all zerks and required surfaces with an EP grease NLGI number 2. Special operating conditions, excessive temperature or speed, may require a different type of grease. Consult the factory. Do not over grease. Note, keep grease fittings clean, accessible, and free from damage. Grease fittings should be checked every week. Examine for broken fittings. All clamp and lid screws should be lubricated with an anti-seize compound. Chassis service. Refer to the chassis manual. Pins and bushings need just enough grease to not seize. Put grease in until it just comes out. The best way to lube pins is to Move item to its furthest travel stop and add two pumps of grease. Then move item to its opposite stop and add two more pumps of grease. Here are some examples of pins and bushings you would find on a combo unit. When grease starts pushing out is when to stop. When you move that item is when the grease will smear on that pin. Now if you want to assure that more of that pin is getting grease, start your greasing with the item moved to its furthest travel stop. Grease, then move that item the opposite direction, then grease again. Any excessive grease, wipe off. Pins and bushings. Two pumps of grease in the lowered position, then move to the fully raised position and add two more pumps of grease. Common pin and bushing lubrication points. Boom pivot points. Debris tank hinge pins. Debris tank rear door hinge pins. Debris tank raised hydraulic cylinder. Rear door lock pins. The same from different manufacturers. Float level indicators. 
Hose reel pivots. Remote lube manifolds for ease of access to all the fittings in one location. And safety so there is no need to climb up onto the machine. Recommended two pumps of grease for each grease fitting. Remember to use a hand grease gun so you don't overpressure the plastic tubing and burst a line. There are different style of bearings used on a combo truck. The most common are flange bearings and pillow block bearings. Both types have seals to keep the grease in and the dirt and water out. We grease these types of bearings differently. A bearing should only get two pumps of grease for the size of bearing we normally use. A larger bearing would require more. The reason for only two pumps is so we don't overpressure the seals and pop them out of place. If a bearing is used in a high speed application, then frequency of lubrication is more often. But overfilling a high speed bearing is not good because the grease will hold heat in the bearing and take the temper out of the steel, causing the bearing to fail prematurely. Common Bearing Lubrication Points Let's look at where these bearings are used. Hose reel rotation, two pumps of grease each. Different manufacturers' designs use different types of bearings. But the lubrication is the same. Hose reel pivot bearings. Here is one application of flange bearing is used. Jack shaft bearings are not as large but do turn at a high rate of speed and are turning any time the unit is in work mode. This type of application should be greased with two pumps of grease daily. This combo unit has two jack shafts one for the blower and one for a water pump. Turntable bearings are used to allow hoses and wiring to go up the middle of the bearing and still let the component attached to it rotate. These bearings are used on man lifts and cranes. We use them on combo units for the rotation of the hose reels. And on booms, the center is the airflow passage. When greasing a turntable bearing, the hose reel should be rotated one direction until it stops and start there to grease. Move the hose reel the opposite direction and every couple of inches add a little more grease until you reach the opposite stop. That method will also apply to a boom turntable bearing. The grease fittings for this bearing are on the middle race. Newer designs, we have remote lube manifolds for easier access. Different manufacturers and boom designs, but the lubrication is the same. Every couple of inches, add a little more grease until you reach the opposite stop. Universal Joint Lubrication Points the drive shaft U joints are often the ones that don't get lubed properly. On units that use transfer gear cases or a split shaft PTO, you have to go under the unit in order to get to them. There are three fittings on each drive shaft one slip joint and two universal joints. The shafts are the drive shaft from the transmission drive shaft to the blower, and the drive shaft to the differential. This is a split shaft PTO. And there are PTO shafts that drive jack shafts for water pump and blowers, or hydraulic pumps.
Special Application Lubrication Points Some blowers have lube points on the input shaft end. These should get grease once a week to once a month depending on the use. Grease these until grease comes out the weep hole on the opposite side of the bearing cap from the fitting. Some blowers are oil filled and just require daily inspection. There are two separate sight glasses on the input side of the blower. Add the manufacturer's recommended oil when low. Do not overfill. Sight glass should be half to three quarter full. There is one sight glass on the front gear case of the blower. Swivel joints don't require grease as often as other items. This should only get a shot of grease every few months. If your joint does not have a grease fitting, you can put one where the small plug is on the top of the joint. Over greasing will cause the packing to fail due to overpressure and the joint will start to leak. These joints have an adjustment that can be made to stop the leak. Swivel Joint Packing Adjustment If the swivel joint leaks, remove the locking tab and loosen the packing gland adjustment two notches. Use a hand grease gun and give two pumps of grease. Tighten the packing gland by hand, then use a tool to align the next lock notch and replace the locking tab. Recheck for leaks. When all the adjustment has been taken up, rebuild the swivel joint. Name of internal parts. Chevron V Packing. Chevron V Packing Retainer Ring. O-Ring. Find set screw to remove the ball bearings. Screw and lock tab. A new swivel joint part number 40052. Repair seal kit 40052-A. Some triplex pumps have grease fittings to lube the plunger push rod packings. Only a shot of grease each once a week. Thank you for watching. The next video in this series is Combination Machine Daily Maintenance.